Venipuncture Procedure, Equipment and Techniques Micropore and Tourniquet 5 cc syringe with 23 gauge needle Red top or plain tube Yellow top with gel separator before extraction, always check the expiration of your tubes. Purple top with EDDA anticoagulant and blue top with sodium citrate. Microtainer or microtube for small amount of blood. For other tubes, we have block top that is used for ESR test and light green or green top with heparin anticoagulant. Lancet for finger or heel puncture, dry cotton, and alcohol pod with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Breaker and microhematocrete tubes. Winged infusion set with 25 gauge needle. For evacuated tube system, we have also our multi sample needle and tube holder. We the phlebotomist, we must follow the specific order of draw. This is to prevent any cross-contamination, especially when dealing with multiple collection tubes. First, blood culture tubes with SPS or sodium polyanethyl sulfony. We must mix the blood with SPS by inverting the tube for about 8 to 10 times. Next, Citrated tube or blue top with sodium citrate. So this must be mixed by inverting the tube three to four times, and this is used for coagulation studies. The third tube must be non-auditive tubes or with or without clot activators. These are used for clinical chemistry test determination. Fourth tube. Green top with heparin anticoagulant. This must be mixed by inverting the tube 8 to 10 times. Fifth tube, purple top or lavender top. This contains EDTA or ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. This anticoagulant must be mixed with blood by inverting the tube 8 to 10 times. Last tube, Gray top with sodium fluoride. Mix by inverting the tube 8 to 10 times and this is used for glucose test. That's all for the order of draw. Again, follow the sequence to minimize interference in testing caused by the carryover of additives in tubes.